This guy right here, fellas, is proof positive that delusion is not just a female issue. This guy right here, listen, <sighs> wait till you hear what this guy has to say. And I apologize in advance because it's going to trigger some of you guys. But oh my God, roll the clip. You know, something like that, a surgery that big. You've been with men? Obviously scares Have me. I been with them? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. In my fucking heart, I still feel straight. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I was a confused boy for a long time. How, when's the first male experience you had? Uh, probably, shit, that's a good question. Um, here in Florida, here in South Florida. When you were swinging? Man, when I was swinging with couples and the couples, like, yeah, we want to do this. I mean, you gotta understand, majority of these situations, I wasn't a sober man. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's my sober face. I wasn't a sober person. So, mm -hmm. when you do drugs, what does that do? That opens your different passageways that you generally can't tap into. So, what the fuck happened? I tried things that I can't tap into normally. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Um, still to this day, I don't feel any regret. And I mean, I have stuff on my only. I have stuff on my only fans with men. You, but th you think every man's been tried gay stuff? Well, no, but I think every man's thought about it. No, but I think a lot of guys have tried. You know, anal pleasure. Yeah, but they don't want to talk about it. I know a lot of men that get pegged by their wives, but they claim straight. But then you're coming at my man yeah. when I don't even fuck him. Yeah, sure. So what's that about? But he, he, you said you suck her dick. Absolutely. Go me out. Huh? God presented my lady with... That's, that's what she has to feel pleasure. We all want to feel pleasure and feel relief. And that's what God gave her to feel pleasure and relief. Best fucking believe. And I just kind of like being fucked, you know? And she doesn't even exactly enjoy that. Yeah. That's something, that's something that I like to do to show her that you have a little bit of dominance on me. Because as a dominant man, sometimes it feels good to have her be like, oh, this is what you're going to do, right? But if that's what she's presented to be pleasured and she needs to feel that, I'm going to do that because this is who I love. There you go with that bullshit. It doesn't matter who, my dad, my mom, my friends, whatever they mm -hmm. think, whoever finds out, I don't care, bro. I, I put this out here. I did. I put this out to the world. Obviously, nobody else this is this. my man. I know everything about him. She knows She knows all the guys I've been with. I got guys in my OnlyFans. I've I, I been with black men, bro, my OnlyFans. It's on there. That's how I make bread. What do you do living. with them? What do you do with them? I've, I've let them fuck me. You've let them fuck you? Absolutely. <gasps> hey. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. In my fucking heart, I still feel straight. You're not gonna break my belief. You're not gonna break what's in my heart. It's not my belief. So you this suck is their what's dicks? in my heart. What's that? You suck their dick too? Not on video, nah, I don't got that. But I have done that. What do you think leads up to all the other shit? But like, I'm telling you what's in my heart. I don't feel like I ever really crossed or bashed my sexuality. I was a man that was exploring. I'm and in the content world, a lot of that's going on. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, there's a lot of homies a lot of my voice, so we'll get that yes. out there right now. <laughs> and they, they know what's up. So, I mean, I got a lot of homies that hit me up. You, you think she's the only one that's got athletes hitting her up? Ever since the whole no jumper thing? I've had two pretty big black athletes, not not LeBron James or nothing like that, but I've had some pretty big athletes, uh, people that are in the Olympics. One guy in the Olympics, I'm not gonna say who. That's and we'll be fans. sitting there in bed and being like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> hey, I want to see these videos. I'll sell them. Okay, five hundred dollars for the package. You want to buy my bottom videos? That's gonna be five hundred dollars. What the hell is even that? Because these, well, a lot of times at home, people are buying these videos because I was selling them cheap. Because I didn't know my worth in this industry because it was new to me. All to send them to my family, to my family's phones, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, my parents, mm -hmm. my sister, my ex-girlfriend's family. Seeing all this stuff of me doing shit with black men. Oh my yeah, you know what that did to my mental? You think I should deserve to want to kill myself? I slit my throat in my bathtub at one point because of that. Like that shit's deep, bro. You guys want to sit here and laugh about it? I was having a little fun with my life. So you guys want to see you have fun watching me want to die. What made you want to put it on camera, though? I was, I've, I've always wanted to do Everyone that knows Jesse Schwanker from Long Island, everyone knows you, you need to be a star. Everyone said, my best friend Jordan Franco always said, bro, you need to be a star. I said, I know I do. I'm going to be. I'm on my way to it. I'm going to be something more than a... Now I'm on, now I'm on a whole different route, though. They, they, I'm way more, more than just OnlyFans. I got a message that's going to leave a fucking impact on this world before I go. I guarantee it.
What's right? the message? What's my message? My message has nothing to do with the trans or gay community. It has nothing what to do with that. What is the message? My message is simply when you find your purpose in life, and I say this many times, when you find your purpose in life, life is so fucking beautiful. I don't have bad days. I really don't. If I do have a bad day, I thank God for that because that helps me give a reason to fight a little bit, right? To get a little uncomfortable, right? I found my purpose in life. My purpose is to stand up for my lady who got shitted on her whole fucking life, got used by men. Fucking, her worth was looked down on. I promised her when I dated her, word for fucking word, what I say? What I say? That the world's going to know who you are. I promised her that, and I met that. That was something serious. I said. <laughs> Hey, yo, what is going on in this world, man? Wow. For those of you guys a little slow in the uptake, um, the person in a blonde wig right there is a biological male. Entirely, fully, Y chromosomes confirmed. Now, look, we got two grown men on that couch. Whatever y'all want to do behind closed doors, when everybody's consenting to the behavior, is y'all business. It is what it is. But, bro, you can't tell the world with a hot microphone and a camera in your face that you willingly participate in putting penises in your mouth and up the asshole while saying you're not gay. Now, I don't know what in the world... <laughs> Words mean things, fellas. And because words mean things, they should be used both properly and in their proper context. It'd be one thing if he was in prison and he had a cellmate that was pushing up on him who was three times his size and was beating him down every day and taking his food and taking his money and other types of bullying behavior. And and, and eventually he just said, you know what, to make the pain stop, to make the bullying stop, I'm just going to give, I'm just going to let him have it. That's... I mean, of course, not ideal. Of course, it's not what anyone wants to have happen to him. But at least in that circumstance, there's an empathy that comes from understanding, yo, he did what he had to do just to survive. You know, he's the victim of a crime at that point, And there's a, a tremendous amount of sympathy that could be poured in his direction. That is understandable. Again, well, not ideal, but still understandable. When you purposely sought out a dude dressed as a woman and then for money, you sucking down. <laughs> oh, man. You sucking down BBC and taking it up the pipe, man. In your heart, you feel like you straight. Okay. See, I've heard something similar to this before. He reminds me. Matter of fact, let's see if I can find this shit. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Fuck. Okay. Hang on. Ah, here it go. Roll the clip. I'm a sexually active virgin. Um, so how exactly is that possible to be a sexually active and a virgin? I mean, it's ways around it. It's not a big variety of us. It's not a lot of people, women like that. But I came to the conclusion that I was a virgin, but I'm sexually active as well. So you just came to the conclusion you're not actually... No, 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 I am. I'm, I'm a virgin. But you're sexually... And I'm sexually active. Yep. And has anybody ever told you the definition of a virgin? Enlightened. A virgin is somebody pretty much who refrains from sexual acts. Matter of fact, you have never had sexual intercourse. Right. I'm a sexually active virgin. Like, the virgin part is the non-sexual part. Up. Can't make it up. Seriously, you really can't. My guy right here, man, listen. The way you live your life is nothing I endorse. The things you do, I'm never going to participate in. You have two choices, my dude. You can either A, repent for what you've done, turn your life back around and get back on track. Hopefully that's the one you take. But there's a second path, and that's you keeping on doing what you're doing and suffering the inevitable consequences, both physical and spiritual at the end of this life. Um, this isn't a theological channel. There's plenty of guys who do it way better than me. But I'd say you like this, man. Oh, oh, side point. Uh, 
homeboy in the wig next to him would end up cheating on him and now they're no longer together. So what was it all for, my guy? Was it all for clout? You know what? It probably was all for clout. Clout is one hell of a drug. Whew. Father God, just just send the asteroid. I mean, sir, at this point, just send it because <laughs> I don't know what's left to save. Oh, my God, please just send the asteroid, Lord. Just send it. What a wicked, wicked world we currently inhabit, guys. Be careful out there, gentlemen. Because, um... Seems like Optimus Prime, Megatron, and Bumblebee aren't the only Transformers out there. Because there's certainly more than meets the eye. That said, that's my time. Like the video? Comment down below. Share this video with a friend and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Never let your brother suffer in silence when the truth can set him free. Networkers, we working. Until next time.